Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are going to be going through some of the stuff in my closet. As in some previous videos I have mentioned, I'm trying to uh, get back going a little bit. I'm trying to be an active member of the YouTube community. Uh, you know, in other words, I'm trying to get some real content uh, out there for you guys. I do enjoy making videos when I miss days or miss weeks or I'm inconsistent on YouTube. It's not because it's a chore or I don't like to do it. If you guys have been around, you guys know a lot of my time is spent and focused on preen population. That is how I support my family. That is everything to me. So that's where a lot of my time goes. I'm going to do my best to start splitting that time and maybe putting a little bit more effort into YouTube. I thought that there would be no better way to, you know, get the ball rolling or have a couple videos to start up again by going through my closet. If I could, I'd probably make 20 videos out of everything that's just in this room. Uh, with that being said, this is not necessarily a collection video. Uh, my collection is in this closet. It's behind me. It's in that corner. It's on this rack right here. It's in the closet downstairs. It's in the closet upstairs. It's in the studio. I think it's in Alexander's closet. I have way too much stuff spread out in way too many areas of the house. I think a full collection video at this point is just not going to happen, but there is a lot of good stuff in this closet. This stuff is basically just my keep stuff. All of this stuff is for my personal collection. Sometimes I get carried away and I just throw stuff in this closet that I just think I want or just without thinking, I just throw it in there. I have not been through this stuff in quite some time. So I thought it would be cool for you guys to see some of the older stuff that I have put away and it would be good for me because I'm pretty much going to go through this stuff and put a keep pile and a sell pile. All the stuff that's going to get sold, you guys know where that will go which is Preen Population. If you guys haven't been there, make sure you guys go check it out. Preen Population Forever. You guys know what it is. So uh, I'll take the camera off the tripod real quick. I'll show you guys kind of what we're looking at and then we can start the video. So like I said, uh, this is pretty much what we're working with right here. This is pretty much uh, what I'm going to be going through. This one, two, three, four, five, six boxes right here. For this first video, I'm going to go through this box right here and what's on top of it and this box right here. So we will go through those two boxes today depending on how well the video does or how well you, know, you guys like the video, then uh, I can continue to do more. If it doesn't get much love or nobody likes it, then I can always abandon the idea and uh, we can go do something else. So today will be this box right here and this box right here. All right, our boxes are down and we are ready to go. Before we get this started, as always, anything that you guys see in this video or on this channel at all has been paid for by myself. People who are self-sufficient and make their own money, they can choose to spend their money in whichever way that they want. I don't tell anybody else how to spend their money and clearly nobody else tells me how to spend my money. My mom, my dad, my sister, my aunt, my cousin, my grandma, nobody gave me one dollar to buy any of this stuff and uh, I choose to spend my money however I want. So let's start with what's outside of the box before we even get to the boxes. This stuff right here is the stuff that kills me. These are the pilot markers. These were ten dollars each. These are little collectibles that are full in all of these boxes right here. This is stuff that I will never ever open and I will keep dead stock forever and uh, these are my collectibles right here. So Next we have uh, the headbands that dropped just last week or two weeks ago. Sadly, I did not get a pickup video out for these headbands, but here they are right here. Here's a black one, uh, a leopard one, a red one, and a green one. Uh, I have a full set from Fall Winter 17 and I almost have the full set from 15 and uh, here is the full set from 18. So these again are just collectibles, things that I keep dead stock forever that I will never ever use. Here is some New York Post magazines. Supreme did this earlier before the season started. Again, I got three copies in here. Eventually, probably one will get framed and uh, two I will just keep forever. So, uh, so far we have a bunch of keep. Next is a beach towel right here. This is a little bit older of an item. This is a full size Supreme beach towel in the woodland camo colorway. So, uh, if you guys have been to Prime Population, I think I've raffled one of these before. Here it is right 
right here, full size, it's upside down, but you guys get the gist. This one is brand new. I can tell by feeling it, it has never been washed and it looks as like it's never been used. These white letters are crispy Coke white and this is one thing that I am not gonna keep. So lucky for you guys, this thing is very, very expensive. The older beach towels are getting up $300, $400. Uh, so this will definitely go in the cell pile, but this is very much a grail. Next, we have a vase. Now, I've sold some vases. You guys might be familiar with the vases that dropped last season. There was a cease and desist. Vases were selling for $400, $500, and I'm not gonna lie and say I didn't sell one for that price. I think I sold a couple, but this is my personal one right here. So you pull off this little plastic, pull this out, and this is what the vase looks like. So it actually says, fuck you, going across the vase. This is for the personal. I think Duba's gonna use this and put some flowers in it. Uh, so the vase will go to the keep pile. Now we can get into the actual bucket. I know we uh, are gonna crunch for time, so I'm gonna try to do the best that I can. First thing that pops out is a 2017 Christmas tea. Things like this, things that drop once a season or are super special, I like to keep dead stock. This is a t-shirt that will never come out of the plastic. Going along with the Christmas vibes is a Santa tea, another Santa tea, another Santa tea, and and another sanity. So as soon as the Christmas season comes around, definitely in the month of December, I'm gonna sell all four of these t-shirts. This is XL dead stock with tags. Um, I have a large dead stock with tags. I have another XL dead stock with tags and I have a medium dead stock with tags. So those tees right now are worth money, but in the holiday season, they go way up and they're close to $400 each. Those are all in the sell pile. Um, the rest of this, uh, I got a couple different things. So here's some TNF jackets, snakeskin. Uh, being a collector, somebody who buys and sells a lot, uh, you have hopes for a lot of different items. When items do bad, you have hopes that one day they're gonna do good. Uh, I have one, two, three snakeskin jackets right here. This is a large green one. Uh, it has store tags on it. I'm definitely not gonna keep this. And this thing goes to the sell pile. I have another green one right here, which is a size large as well, which I am not gonna to keep in this closet any longer and uh, will be sold. My hopes for the snakeskin collection going up in any kind of value I think is gone out the window. Here's a black one, size extra large. This will go in the sell pile as well. Here is another beach towel. This time it is a red one. This is a little bit more iconic. This catches people's eyes a little bit more or people are just more familiar with this one. Again, it is a full size beach towel. These things are ginormous. The red one goes for upwards of four or $500. Brand new on eBay. They're like some are at 700, some are at a thousand. When I run them on premium population, I usually do them for four to 500 bucks. Uh, this cannot take up any more space and will go to the sell pile as well. The bucket is almost empty. We have two more jackets in here. Here is a gold metallic TNF. This is a size medium. The prices on these metallic jackets have gone up a little bit since they dropped. I feel like eventually these will go up. I don't know about the snakeskin, uh, but I just don't know how much patience I have. I know they didn't drop that long ago. There's a medium gold, and then here is a gold XL as well. So five TNF jackets in this little bucket, and uh, all of them will go to the sell pile. There's one bin completely. Let's move on to the next one, which is still right here. All right, so in this, you guys are gonna see probably some older stuff and probably a lot of stuff that I'm not gonna sell. Again, I am trying to clean this stuff out. I am trying to get rid of stuff, but there is a lot of stuff in here that means a lot to me and I just under no circumstances will sell no matter what. So here is a Lacoste shoulder bag. This is red. I really wanted to get the green one. It didn't work out. The green one is worth a bunch of money. The red and all of these bags have gone up in value will continue to go up. Uh, I think this embossed like faux leather action is extremely nice and uh, this is for the collection. I don't really wear shoulder bags, waist bags that much, but as you guys are gonna see in this bucket, I have a bunch of them. It's just something I like to collect. I don't know why, uh, but I do. So here is a next shoulder bag right here, which is a 3M reflective. This is from 2015, dropped with a 3M duffel and a 3M backpack, which you guys will see in here for sure. Has the 3M tab right here. This 
is not brand new. There is a little bit of scuffs and marks going along this 3M bag, but this thing is so fire. This is the olive colorway right here. Beautiful, beautiful shoulder bag. So uh, going back to some TNF metallic, here is the shoulder bag that dropped. Again, this is just for my collection. I will probably never wear this. You know, I just want one day to look back and to be able to have collaboration shoulder bags and seasonal drop shoulder bags to have a lot of them or most of them or all of them uh, is my goal. $66 gold. That's going in the keep pile for sure. Here is two shoulder bags that are extremely sick. And these are the mesh front panel shoulder bags right here. These are a little bigger and uh, these things are straight fire, dude. This is a little bit older. I believe these are 2013. Do not quote me on my dates exact, but uh, here you have a little bit heavier hardware and just a little bit all around better built shoulder bag. You have two zip pockets on the top right here. You have a zip part on the front and then it's printed inside. This is the dark blue colorway. That is a keep 100% to go with the same collection is a red one right here. I think I either got one or both of these bags from Kick Naramatsu. Shout out to Kick. I don't know if you watch these videos. Shout out to the homie. Thank you for these bags. Here's the red one right here. This whole collection with these duffel bags, I have them. You guys will see them in here. Uh, the older bags is what fascinates me from Supreme. The older bags that are built a lot better, have better hardware, made of better material, have just more thought and effort put into them. That is what intrigues me about the older bag so uh, here's a red like little mesh front panel shoulder bag right here those things are both hitters so uh, here's some good stuff right here that's probably gonna make you guys cringe uh, dead stock with tags fall winter 14 or 15 3m messenger bag this is dead stock with tags right here this is the red one has a 3m stripe going all the way across uh and this is a messenger bag so not a shoulder not a waist not a backpack it's more of like a crossbody. could definitely fit a laptop or a school binder something like that you have 3M tags, you have Cordura tags, and uh, New York store tags on it. That thing is a hitter. Those things go for 300, 350 bucks. Here's an olive one right here. Dead stock with tags as well. Both of these came from the New York store. One of them is from 2014, and then one of them came with the restock about a season and a half ago. Red, uh, olive, and all I need is the black to complete the set, I believe. So here's another older supreme bag right here and this is a utility bag a real utility bag or a briefcase whatever you want to call it so it's got the briefcase handle at the top but you also have a shoulder strap as well this thing is crazy it has all metal little accents on it you got pockets on the front you have a huge zip on the top and then you have a zip on the back as well this is cordura fabric but uh, man they just don't make bags like this anymore this is 2013 2012 uh, somewhere around there woodland camo utility or a brief bag briefcase whatever you want to call it that is an extreme hitter as well so to match those front panel uh, shoulder bags we have a little mesh front panel duffel bag right here so again you have the mesh front with printed supreme this is just more of like a lunchbox shaped duffel bag uh, you got all kinds of pockets on the front and then you got the zip that goes along the top or the back, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is a full-size duffel bag. If I ever go somewhere cool uh, internationally or go on like an overstate vacation, uh, I got some sick bags to take with me. This matches the shoulder bag. Man, these things are so sick. Again, Supreme just does not make bags like that anymore. So let's keep it pushing. I got a North Face bag right here. This is the Power Orange bag. And this is from 2016. I believe so this is the power orange you got North Face Supreme at the bottom right here I know they just did some basic colors with the leather this year and last year uh, But I would Ray rather have uh, the power orange even the camera doesn't pick it up It's just that highlighter hunting orange this thing is brand new I think I've worn this thing once and uh, will definitely stay in the stay pile So two more backpacks and then I believe we are done with this bucket We have a mountain print backpack right here dead stock with tags I want to get another one of these to use what it's meant to be used for for right now This one will stay in plastic and uh, will stay in my keep pile one of my favorite backpacks of all time that I have to this day or duffel bag Whatever you want to call it 
is the big haul backpack. This is from Spring Summer 17 North Face Supreme. This is the yellow one. I'll put a picture of what it looks like filled up on the screen. This thing is badass. This thing is crazy. Uh, by far one of my favorite bags that Supreme and North Face has ever done. It's got North Face tags. Uh, it has LA store tags. One of my favorite bags of all time. So to finish off the bucket, the bucket's empty. I have uh, two tote bags and these are the 666 tote bags. These dropped spring summer 17. Here's the brown one right here. And then here is the black one right here. At the time, these got slept on just like the skull pile ones did. Uh, these are a little bit hard to find nowadays. These are all denim tote bags, just like the skull pile. And uh, part of the 666 collection, some of my favorite stuff that Supreme has ever dropped. All right, so that is it. That is the first two buckets that are empty. I didn't mean to speed through too much or go too fast, but you guys know if a YouTube video gets over 15 minutes, it's extremely hard to watch. So I just wanted to go through some keep and some sell. There was a lot of keep in there, but uh, both of the full length Supreme Spell Out beach towels are gonna get sold. All the sanities will get sold. All the TNFs will get sold. So make sure you guys look out for that stuff on Prem Population. If you guys made it to the end of the video, Shout out to you guys. If you want to see me go through the rest of my closet, I got a lot more old stuff in there. I got new stuff. Make sure you guys drop a like uh, and make sure you guys let me know in the comments. Do a second part, part two, whatever, or just a bunch of likes on the video will let me know that you guys want me to do the next one. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys made it to the end, Prime Population Forever, you guys know what it is. And until the next time, Sleepy, I'm out of here. Deuces. Peace out. Love you guys. Stay safe. Peace.